hello everyone, and welcome back. I was planning on going back up to the tent on Friday for the third and final weekend of deer hunting uh, for this year, but uh, it's Wednesday right now. I got things scheduled at work. I uh, decided to take off. I, uh, I'm going to get up there pretty late. I'll only get maybe a couple hours in the stand this afternoon, but uh, at least tomorrow morning I'll be able to get that Thursday morning hunt. As you guys remember, my dad was up, uh, up there when I left on Sunday and he called it quits yesterday and pulled everything out of the cabin that could be in there, that can't be in there for the winter and he's back at home. So he is not coming up this weekend. George, he was still out in the stand this morning. I texted him. He's going to be at his cabin tonight, uh, but he doesn't know if he's going to hunt tomorrow or, or if he does, that's going to be the last morning hunt and then he's calling it quits for this season also. So it sounds like for most of the time I'm going to be up here, I'm going to be the only one out there in the woods. As I'm driving up here, I'm trying to save time. Hopefully my battery will survive long enough that I'm uploading part two or the second weekend deer hunting movie. And in about three hours, we should be back at the tent. I have about an hour to go until I get to the tent. It's a light, misty rain out right now. Uh, just, I don't know, 10 minutes ago it was 33 degrees. As I'm climbing here, it's down to 29. So I'm going to have to watch out with these roads. I'm sure there's still a lot of uh, salt on them from last week when I came home. It was salted quite well, but I'm still going to have to be careful. It is blowing like crazy out there. It was even when I left the house, and I thought for sure it would die down by the time I got up here. Not one bit. Well, we made it up here. Uh, most of the unpacking is going to have to wait. It's well after 3 o'clock. You can only shoot until just before 5. So I need to get a few things brought in, get that wood stove going, and then I'll probably just run out to Sarah's stand because that's the closest. Seven degrees in here, 30 degrees outside, and the wood stove is going. All should be good in just a few hours. Just going to drive the truck to the end of the driveway, turn it around, and park it there, and then I'll walk the rest of the way. There are deer tracks all over out here. It's like a freaking highway. Okay everyone, well shooting time just ended, as you just saw, there was a doe, there was actually two of them that I followed, and I didn't film them, of course, I had my crosshairs right on them, waiting for them to grow horns, but <laughs> they weren't real big does, but I could have taken them just like last week when I was up here, had my chance, but just not yet, they weren't, if it would have been a really big doe, one of them, I think I would have taken them, but that was exciting. I didn't think I'd see much, it's blowing like crazy out, and it snows and it stops and they come from right over there and they come along that clearing and then they just bees their way across. Listen to that wind. 
Well, I think I'll head back to the tent. Hopefully it started to warm up in there and get some things unpacked. nicer in here. What does it say? It's up to 69 in here. Feels good. Well, I bought a few things for up here tonight for supper, though I just brought um, bought some pre-made chicken already at the grocery store, and then, um, I don't know, it was a chef salad or something, so I'm going to bring some of this stuff in. The rest can stay out here because it'll stay frozen. I got some Lunchables. Some of these are from last week. I bought a couple more. Here's that salad. I bought some more of that ham stuff. I forgot about it last time. Pre-made chicken. Some more uh, yogurt. Brought up some milk. A chuck roast. And I bought some turkey wings. They're always good out there on the barbecue. I also have uh, homegrown and butchered pork steaks. A pork roast out there. And then I've got a couple of those boxes of hamburgers. I got plenty of food. I almost forgot I brought up some more uh, freezer bags, the gallon ones, and a couple more things of uh, <laughs> tin foil, heavy duty. And I brought up some uh, salad dressing for my salad. not work very good on jerky. I'm going to try that knife that I got from George a couple years ago that I'm supposed to be using on deer and I haven't shot one yet. That's way easier. Didn't take the kids long to eat the other batch of trail mix I made, so now I got this one all to myself. I think I'll make me up a little snack bag for tomorrow. Hopefully the that's a different stand, but hopefully the gray jays won't come and eat everything. <laughs> they don't eat the chocolate because that'll kill them, but uh, they'll eat everything else, and then I end up eating the chocolate. Chilly in here. 
almost 10 o'clock and I'm gonna go to bed right now. It's still windy out right now, but listening to the weather, it sounds like after midnight it's gonna drop down. So hopefully tomorrow morning will be a good morning. Good morning, everybody. I've been up for quite a while here. It's 18 degrees out there right now, according to my sensor that's on the tree. Uh, the, the wind is still some wind, but it did die down, and it looks like there's some light snow out there. So hopefully, it'll be a good morning. Well, I've been out here a little over six hours. Nice morning. There was a little bit more wind earlier, but uh, just nice. But haven't seen any deer. My toes are a little bit chilly. Not too bad. I think it's time I get down and head back to the truck. I'm going to just drive down this way. I don't know. I might go around the whole loop. We'll see. See if I see any fresh tracks. I see there's some on the road right here, but uh, another car has went through here since I went out to the stand. Well, these are fresh tracks here going right into my far stand. Whatever deer that is, it sure has a big track. I don't know where to sit. I seen it when we were driving down here. I seen uh, there was a set right where George walks in to go to his stand. Just gotta be in the right place at the right time. We got fresh tracks right here on the road. I just saw some fresh tracks right there that were going in where my, I call it my far clearing stand, the one I sat in the last video most of the time. So I'm going to pull in right here because I only sit in that stand when my dad isn't out in the middle of the clearing. And uh, if I pull in here, I can see if the deer have been out. Somebody's already been in here today to walk in, but I'm going to walk in here and see if they have been running along the edge. There's a fresh deer track right there, and that had to have been this morning. They have been all over out here. Got a lot of tracks that go that way and those, anything that goes that way I can cover. I can cover all the way over to here from that stand once they get up here a little farther. I think this is where I'm gonna to sit tonight. I'm gonna to sit out in that stand I was in last week. That wind will be hitting me right in the face too, which is perfect. Get back to the tent and get that stove stoked up. It's almost lunchtime right now. Okay, everyone, it's time for lunch. Well, lunch is done. I hung out here for just a little bit, but I think I want to get out to that clearing stand. It's still 19 degrees only, and that wind is picking up. It's continually getting stronger, and it's supposed to be gusting sometimes over 20 miles an hour, so I don't know how it'll be, but uh, all them tracks look pretty good. The size of those tracks, huh? shooting time just ended it has been nothing but brutal on the stand tonight a lot of tracks out here but this is a nice spot because those trees that you see across there and then you go up the hill up there that's a bedding area for them so I was hoping they'd come out but I think they're gonna stay in bed for a while 
Let's head back to the tent. I need to warm up my hands so I can feel them. I looked at the weather on my phone and there's the little red triangle by it. There's supposed to be snow, freezing rain, uh, all kinds of stuff <laughs> happening tonight and again tomorrow. So I'll have to look closer when I get back to the tent and see what's all involved. But I hope at least uh, the temperature isn't too bad and uh, the wind stays down. Put some water on the stove here. I want to take a shower tonight. I was gonna do these on the barbecue, but they're just turkey wings and I was out in that cold uh, most of the whole day. So I'm just gonna do them in the Coleman oven, put some Johnny seasoning on there and uh, they will be delicious. That wind out here is gusting so hard. I'm in there and I mean, it's really pretty quiet in the tent and all of a sudden you'll hear it creak, which uh, only happens when it's really blowing. after midnight. Snow accumulation up to one inch. Lows in the lower to mid twenties. Southeast wind 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 25 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, light snow, possibly mixed with freezing rain in the morning, then light snow, possibly mixed with freezing drizzle in the afternoon. Snow accumulation up to one inch. Ice accumulation of less than one quarter of an inch. So that basically means that it might be windy. If it's windy like this blow, I mean, 20, 15 doesn't sound bad, but 25, I don't know what it's gusting to out there, but you guys heard it. It's really blowing. If it was like that, I don't even think I would go out in the morning. There would be no reason to. All right, I'm going to hop in the shower. Be back in a few minutes. Starting to get a little bit smoky and smelling a little bit too much like turkey in the tent. Brought all my deer hunting clothes out here and hung them up. Otherwise I'm going to smell like a big kitchen out there tomorrow. I opened up the back door for a little bit to blow some of that out of here.
Three more degrees to go on the turkey. It's getting pretty smoky in here. I'm going to open up the door again. Okay, everyone, I'm going to grab a glass of milk and it's dinner time. We've got signals coming in from 17 monitors. I'm gonna head for bed right now. It's 10:15, snowing like crazy, still blowing. <laughs> Just can't catch a break. I'll see you guys in the morning. Early this morning, cloudy with light snow likely, possibly mixed with freezing rain. New snow accumulation up to 1 inch. Southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Today, light snow in the morning, then light snow, possibly mixed Good morning with everybody. It's a little after 4.30. Still blowing like crazy. I'm not even going to go out to the stand this morning. If this lets up a little bit midday, I'm going to run out for sure. I think as soon as it does, the deer are going to get up and they're going to want to get something to eat. But for right now, there's no way they're going to be moving around. I decided to change my mind. I am going to go sit out there. I'm just going to get out there just a little bit before shooting time. So I don't have to sit that first hour. I notice when I'm out there that the wind will die down for a short period of time and then gust back up. So who knows? Well guys, I was just sitting in my stand here. I've only been in the stand, what, half hour, maybe 40 minutes. I've seen a deer. It's, I, I had my uh, range finder here last year. It was about a 400 yard shot. Small buck, just a little spike. But uh, I have to tell I had to take it. <laughs> I mean, I have seen a couple of does and the weather's supposed to get even worse than it is right now later on. I shot that deer. I think I hit it pretty good. I'm walking up there now to check it out. Oh, there we go. This is a long ways up here. It's going to be a hard drag to get him out. Probably going to have to go grab the sled and tie him onto that because I don't think you can get a four-wheeler back here, but a nice little spike buck. Glad I came out this morning. I've got my deer right here and right there. Another buck just walked by, probably a six-point. He just went behind this uh, berm of stuff right here. Let's see if I can't get him on video. 
Wish my dad was up here. I'd fill his tag right now. That's pretty weird, isn't it? Wait the whole time to shoot a buck. Shoot one, and then another one comes out and it's 50 feet away from you. Unbelievable. Well, I'm gonna get my uh, plastic gloves on and get this thing gutted, and uh, then I'll probably head back, probably over to my folks' cabin, and grab, a, he bought a deer sled. That'd be a little easier to get this thing out of here. I finally get to use the knife that George gave me that he sells and uh, use it on a deer. I think it's been three years I've been waiting. All right, all the dirty work is done. It doesn't drag too bad. It's just starting to snow right now, and it's supposed to snow, I think, one or two inches today. and be kind of freezing rain, and then the temperatures drop. So I think I'm just going to, instead of going back and getting the sled, I'm just going to start dragging this toward the road. It's a long ways. i got to go all the way to those trees and then go through those trees to get to the road. I always seem to shoot these things when I'm the only one up here, nobody to help me drag it out. Check this out, you guys. I've pulled this maybe 150 yards. Check this out. Another buck. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, he's not a very big deer. At least he wasn't when he started, but it feels like about a thousand pounds now when I'm pulling on him. Just made it to the trail that my dad walks in when he goes to his stand, so... I'm getting closer. As soon as you get to that big pine tree over there in the back, I think you can see where I parked the truck then. walk down here and get my truck. That actually wasn't too bad. 400 yard shot with my Mossberg Patriot 30 odd 6 and I was using 180 grain. Uh, cartridge in there, usually if it's in brush I like to have a 200 grain to blast through a little better but this one did the job. It was kind of a freezing rain out there when I was dragging the deer out. Looks like we got back just in time. It's starting to snow. Ever since I put up the metal deer pole, we've never had a chance to use it. <laughs> I'm going to run over to the folks' cabin, grab the four-wheeler, it's got the winch on it, and then we'll get that deer winched up on there. Looks a little cold and desolate right now. Look how that snow is separating and sliding off that metal roof. A whole bunch of it's already fallen down here. 
had to come in here to get the four-wheeler key turned out to be a beautiful morning here that wind has died down I don't know what it is it feels warm but after what I just did I'd be warm anyway snowing pretty good out time to have a little lunch I burned a few calories dragging out that deer still watching gun smoke I'm on uh, season 4 episode 28 run down the driveway and grab that SD card. I haven't pulled that one in, I don't know, three weeks at least. I'm actually going to switch it out with the other camera with fresh batteries, a completely clean SD card because after I'm up here now this weekend, I won't be back up here for a couple months until the winter trip. I went through all the pictures on there, but there's no animals. It's just, you can see after that snow, how that one branch hangs down in front of it. You just get a lot of pictures of me going in and out of the driveway going to the deer stands and Sarah walking to hers and Zachary walking down that one night when uh, that tree was over the driveway and just a lot of that. I think since I shot a deer this morning, I'm going to reward myself with a big potato. <laughs> So I rehydrated some uh, mushrooms and onions, fry them up a little bit here first.
Okay guys, well it's dinner time. Uh, deer heart is few and far between and it's a delicious meal and I think you could actually ask any of my kids and they would also tell you it's one of their very favorite meals. It's actually so warm outside that I'm burning pine tonight. Okay everyone, well it's about 10 after 10. I'm going to head for bed right now. I'm going to stay up here all day tomorrow and go home on Sunday. I think tomorrow we'll smoke up a pork roast. And uh try to relax. I have to go out to both stands and get the uh, sleeping bags and the seat cushions off there so I do have a few things to do. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. It's 26 degrees right now. Not a whole lot of wind. Would have been a nice morning on the deer stand. It was weird to wake up this morning at about 10 after 4. That's when I usually always wake up and didn't have to get up to get ready to go out to the deer stand, so I actually got to lay in bed till almost 5 o'clock, sleeping in. Well, I kind of feel like I'm wasting the day away. It's already 10.30, I haven't done a whole lot. Um, actually, I felt kind of beat this morning from uh, dragging that deer out yesterday. I was surprised, I felt tired. But I do need to go out to both stands and pull the sleeping bags and the uh, seat cushions off, so may as well go get that done before lunchtime. It's amazing how many deer tracks now I've been crossing the road here just since yesterday. All, the, all that time with seeing no deer and now they are in the area. Right here is where I drug that deer out to and hooked it up and look at all the wolf tracks. Fresh deer tracks right where we walk in. Look who came to see me. Well, until next year, I think I might put a taller stand in here. This one's only, I don't know, 12 or 16 feet. I want to get one of those 20 footers and get up higher. Because everything out in the clearing now is starting to grow up. over to Sarah's stand and we'll do the same thing. I didn't see any fresh tracks coming across this clearing. Pretty glad that I switched from this stand even after seeing those two to that clearing stand because I mean like you saw they're still using that today. It's gonna back down to the tent driveway. This will probably be the last time you see me drive up to the tent until next May. Next time I come in, it'll be in January and I'll be crossing the lake.
eight minutes after 12. I'm just having leftovers for lunch here, and I'm going to watch another uh, gun smoke. I watched the rest of 10,000 BC, and now I've been sitting here uh, editing this video, the one that you're watching right now. I have it in different folders, so I thought I'd get started on that. And I think I'm going to leave my deer hunting clothes up here. I kind of I did that last winter too, and I like it because then when I come up here for the winter trip, you have like an extra set of really warm clothes, just the outer ones. So I'll leave those here. And I think I'm going to uncover the barbecue here and get it going. I've got a pork roast and a beef roast up here. I might just smoke both of them and be done and bring it home and eat it. I mean, I go home in the morning, but uh, easier to cook it here than it is back there. I'll have everything all set up. Put a little Hunter's Blend on here. Getting all my dirty clothes in a dirty clothes bag. Well, I gotta get all the stuff that can freeze taken out of here. So I guess for supper tonight we're gonna eat green beans because I have one small can of that. I really need to start eating some of this stuff. I get so much stuff. I mean, bags of chips and the sweet stuff that the kids like and chili and soups and macaroni and cheese. I got a lot of stuff in these cabinets. Well, everything else there is dehydrated and or stuff that can freeze, ketchups and stuff. I just leave them out all winter syrups, all that, so I think we're good over here on this side.
Got a nice full wood bin because I'll burn a little bit of that tonight but next time I come up here will be the winter trip and the first thing we need is get that stove going and I need it to in no time to be loading up the wood bin then. sit right there for now. I did touch all the stuff underneath the stove that I was uh, vacuuming up but there was a firefighter that commented last time to be careful because he's been to fires where that's what happened so now I feel kind of leery about it. Well it's 20 after 4 right now. It's dark by 5 o'clock so I need to go get that deer loaded in the back of my truck so I'm not doing it in the dark. It smells like a seasoned cast iron pan. I've got the sensor in the beef roast, the pork will take longer. And when it gets to 150 with the beef, that is some really rare beef, which I don't mind, but I kind of like it better when it's around 158, you know, right around there. So once this gets done, then I'll put it into the pork one and we'll see how that's doing. That took forever. <laughs> I didn't know if it was ever going to get done. I'm going to leave that on there for a while now, maybe another, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Then I'll pull the beef one off and I'll plug the thing into the pork one and I'll let that sit for a while. I don't care about that one. If that one didn't get done tonight, I would wrap it, freeze it, and then finish cooking it at home. Well, I put the probe into the pork and that's done too, so everything is pretty much ready. Let's take a look at this. I like mine like rare to medium rare. Oh, that looks good. Looks about perfect. Nice little smoke ring on there. Let's cut a little bit of that pork and see what that looks like. Since this is one of the pigs that I butchered, this particular roast is a real bony roast, but... Oh, 
Oh, that looks so good. It smells good too. Wow. All right, the last tent dinner till I come up here for the winter trip. It smells so good. Well, I was going to take a shower right now, but all of my water are frozen ice cubes, so I guess we'll have to wait. I should be home by 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll have to take one then. Okay, everyone, well, it's 10 degrees, and it's 10 o'clock, and it's windy. I'm glad I got my deer and I don't have to go out for tomorrow's morning hunt. I'm heading to bed right now, but I'll see you guys in the morning when I'm packing up and getting ready to head home. Good morning, everybody. It's five minutes to six right now. I've got the truck running out there. Just getting the last few things in the truck. Just about time to head south. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching this uh, fairly long series on deer hunting 2017. It was a little grueling on the stand, but in the end we were successful. We'll drive for a while. I'll see you guys on the next video.